Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and we are finally gonna convert this little guy, the Raspberry Pi 2, into a media server using Plex, right here, right now. All right guys, so to start off, we are gonna need a Raspberry Pi 2. It has to be version two, you can't use the Raspberry Pi B because they changed the architecture. Now, uh, the first version, they used ARM6. This new version is the ARM7, and Plex only supports ARM7. That's why we're able to do this now. And what we're gonna be loading into this little guy is a Plex media server. And what that is, is a transcoding server for your media files. It takes all your media files, puts it into a really pretty web interface, and then it converts your video files on the fly so it could display on this website. What we're gonna need is a software, and Plex is the place where you're supposed to get it, but Plex doesn't offer an uh, all-in-one solution. If you wanna get it from Plex, you're gonna have to download it from NAS, Synology, then ARM7, then compile it all on your own. Fortunately, somebody over at De dev2day.de, he compiled everything into a nice Debian packager, so we could just download that and install it really fast. Okay, I'm not gonna show you how to install Raspbian. I have another tutorial, which I'll leave a card and the link in the description below on how to do that. After we logged in, what we're gonna want to do first is type this command in, which is sudo app get update, update install app transport HTTPS, and then you force yes. I'm gonna leave all this in the description below and also to my website. Now that that's done, we're gonna to wanna to get this key. Again, I'm gonna leave everything in the description. Insert it into our system. And then we're gonna to wanna to add this repository. And then update it again. Once that's done, you wanna do sudo app get install plex media server. Tack Y. You don't really need to tack Y, that's just to say yes, so I don't have to agree for it later. Alright, now that everything's all processed and installed, our next thing is to check on the media server if everything's running. Now, the web address that you're going to be going to is your Pi's IP address, so it's http colon slash slash 192.168.1. Whatever your pi is, so mine is 65 colon 32400 or 32400 slash web. From here, we agree to the terms. You can see it's working and it's called Raspberry Pi. This is the interface you're going to be shown with. Um, you go into settings, take a look at what's going on over here. And what you want to do is add, press that little plus button right over here. And now we could add media. Now I added some stuff that I burned into uh, digital. So it's going to be a TV show. Next, browse for media folder. I put it into slash home. If you got a hard drive, like you did my NAS tutorial, uh, you'll point it to there my videos and I have Firefly in here. So I'm gonna add that folder. I'm not gonna add the Firefly folder. I'm just gonna add the video folder. Now it's gonna sniff through that folder and download all the metadata from the internet, like the images, uh, what the episode's about, stuff like that. And it's gonna take some time to update the library, but we can actually just go in and play it. But I'm gonna let that load. Now, you could also, I don't know if it's set up by default, but let's take a look. I'm going to go into settings, go into um, server, and DLNA. Yep, it's enabled by default now. And a DLNA server allows your TV to pick up the Raspberry Pi to, that will stream video to it. Let's go back home, and you see the metadata is loaded. Now I have to cover uh, photo of um, Firefly. If I go into each episode, now it's going to have some images. If I want to play it, hit play, and it's going to retain all the information of what I watched. You see, right off my browser using my Raspberry Pi now. 
So guys, a media server off this little tiny guy that powered by five volts. If you use this in conjunction of other tutorials that I have, like the VPN or the NAS file server, you can actually remote connect into this anywhere around the world and watch all your media files through the web browser. If you guys got any questions, please leave it in the comments below or hit me up in Twitter. I'm a very social guy. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. That's gonna give you notification when my next videos are out. And remember, hack till it hurts. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe, it helps me a lot. And if you wanna watch more videos like this, I'll post a link right here.